Welcome to Bowl Week. Glad to have you with us from Boca Raton, Florida for what ought to be an exciting matchup in the RoofClaim.com Boca Raton Bowl. Bowl games are not only a reward for how you played in the regular season, but can be a springboard into next year as well. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Fresno State Bulldogs, taking on a team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Kickoff team out there ready to tee it up in this bowl game. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's got an alley. He's going to get loose. He will score. Touchdown, Gators. What a way to start a game. Coaches always talk about from the opening whistle being locked in and being loaded and being ready to go. Taking the opening kick back for a touchdown hit, it doesn't get better than that. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Not much coaches love more than finding points on special teams, and that 94 yard touchdown return gave it to them. They're lining up to kick it off full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Bulldogs' offense will get the first swing of the game. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the team. They say big time players make big plays in big games, so who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. Yeah, I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game, the head-to-head -head matchup that everybody wants to see? A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Pulls it and fires to the left. Really nice job there by both guys. The throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season and throughout your career, and it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special to take the field with your guys one more time, but playing in games that had so much history. So Florida's offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. The expressway is wide open. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Didn't take them long to get into the goal-to-go package. Here they are on first down. Back to pass. It's Mertz. 
It falls incomplete. He was trying to find this man for six. No, oh, what a missed opportunity for that interception. Yes, I know he gets the pass break up. He had a chance to finish things off, and he really didn't get it done. But there's a reason he plays defense. You know, they put the guys on offense that can actually catch. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Florida. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and kick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. It's a draw. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They try to pop a run on the draw. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Now the chat.